and welcome to my Dice Tower Con vlog for 2019. Today is Tuesday, which is the day before the convention. We actually came early and went to Disney World for a few days, um, but now we're going to be going to the hotel and checking in. It is Tuesday afternoon, early evening. And we played a couple games earlier today, but we're going to check into the hotel because we couldn't check in until 4. Hi Dice Tower fans, it's Crystal and I'm at the Las Vegas airport. My flight has been delayed twice already. So I, uh, let's see, what time is it? It is 12.15 p.m. and I was originally supposed to get into Florida at 8 p.m. That is clearly not happening now. It'll probably be, let's see, if we're delayed two and a half hours so far, it'll probably be 11 p.m. by the time I get in. Uh, assuming we're not delayed again, but uh, I'm going to try and vlog during the entire convention, just like Ambi, and hopefully we'll have some fun things to show you from Dice Tower Con. If I ever make it there, I'll make it there eventually. Alright, so I am now in Orlando. It is 8 minutes to midnight. I was supposed to get in at 8pm, and my flight got delayed and delayed and delayed. Got on a plane, got off a plane, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and the terminal is basically empty, as you can see behind me, because it's midnight. Uh, it's so funny, I was, like, my flight was supposed to get in at 8pm, I was going to get over to the convention center at, like, 9, have time to say hi to everybody, you know, and then go chill and get some good sleep tonight, and uh, now we're clearly going to be starting the convention off on uh, a little less sleep than anticipated, but... Uh, I'm still really looking forward to seeing everyone at the convention center in just a little while. And then we're doing board game breakfast in the morning. So uh, we're, I'm excited about that. And yeah, so we'll see you all later. Hello, it is Wednesday morning, the start of Dice Tower Con, and we're at board game breakfast. See, here's people. Um, yes, I have a segment. So I'm, I have notes for that and I'm getting ready for that. Um, but yeah, it's going to start soon, and then I think registration is also starting soon. I don't know exactly when, but uh, yeah, then after board game breakfast, we'll play some games. Yay! Good morning, everyone. It is day one of Dice Tower Con, and I am walking over to the convention center. I am more awake than I expected to be after five hours of sleep, and it's a beautiful, very humid day here in sunny Florida. So. Uh, heading over to the convention center, registration will open in just a little while, but first we have board game breakfast happening uh, in just like 15 minutes. So we're going to go see who all's over at the convention center and hope that they got more than five hours of sleep. Because if they're all in the same condition I'm in, it's going to be a long day, friends. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing everyone and to uh, going to board game breakfast and uh, yeah, we'll check up with you when I get to the convention center. All right, I am now in the convention center. Board game breakfast is going to be starting. You want to see some vlog section? Oh, shoot, I missed it. Dave, uh, our friend Jason over here was vlogging just a second ago. Hey, look, there's the uh, men of the hour. What are you doing? Let's, uh, let's see how many vlogs we can do at the same time. It's just vlog magic. Oh, see, see, there he is. See, Chris has been long enough arm. No, I. Okay, I can do this without a stick. You got to get the good angles, Jason. You got to get those good high angles. Every look at you guys. No, the thing is, every angle is a good angle. Hi everyone. I'm Mickey Gardner. Every angle you see is a good angle. All right, we're gonna let them start board game breakfast. I'm walking away from Jason. It's day one of Dice Tower Con. We just finished board game breakfast, and Jason and I are gonna head up and grab our badges. And in case you're wondering, yes, this shirt is true. What does it say? I, oh, it's, it's backwards because of the, uh... I beat Tom Basil at the Dice Tower Con. He didn't take it very well. Um, How old is this shirt? This is vintage. This was year one. This year is Dice Tower Con 1 back wow. in 2012. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, that's how long we've been doing it. This is eight years. Eight years of, yeah. eight years of this convention. Can you believe it? I can't. This is only my third year coming. So, really? yeah, I've only been coming. This is number three for me. Uh, and it is noisy in here. Holy moly. Everybody's really excited to get their badges, obviously. Okay, I'm now in the main gaming hall, and there's like a lot of games here, but also a hot game section with a lot of the hot games, which are the newer games. Um, so they're just out on the tables, and there's hot game signs here, and people can play any of them. So it's a bunch. I haven't played most of them. Maybe I'll play some of them this week. 
And then there's also just a lot of people playing games uh, in the room, just from the library or maybe their own games. Or, I'm not sure. Lots of games being played. Yay. So we just played Pandemic Rapid Response. I played with uh, people from uh, iHeart Board Games. Yay. What do you guys think? Oh, fantastic. Stressful. Very stressful. <laughs> Very stressful. <laughs> we saved the world. We did. It was rapid and it was response. <laughs> and it was pandemic. Yes. Yeah, so this is a real-time cooperative <laughs> game. So Very know stressful. all the rules before you start. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was good stuff. Let's do it again. So I just uh, took a look at the exhibitor hall. There's a lot of different vendors there with, with their games, they're demoing, and there's also a big table space for demoing games. And um, we looked around. Also, Cool Stuff has uh, a lot of games for sale and a Ding and Dent sale. Um, yeah, so looked around, looked at all the things. And we also bought a game, uh, Slide Quest, which is a new kids game where you're like sliding things around. It's kind of like the game Labyrinth, but cooperative and then very colorful. And there's holes that your little knight can fall into. Looks pretty fun. Oh wait, demoed it a little bit. It was fun. <laughs> Here's the library. Lots of games. So you can just walk in here, look at all the games, and then check it out. Okay, I got to demo a couple of games at the um, exhibitor hall that I had heard about and I enjoyed. So one of them was Letter Jam, which is a cooperative deduction word game. You each have letters that you're trying to figure out, but you don't know what they are and they're facing away from you. And other people give clues by making words with everyone else's letters. And they don't say like what the letters are, they just say the order of the words. So you, you try to figure out your letters from that. It's pretty interesting. Um, but that's not coming out till Gen Con. And then we played Subtext, which is a new game. Uh, it's kind of like Dixit, but you're drawing the things yourself. So like one person is the dealer and draws a picture and then like other people get random words, but one of them has the word that matches the dealer. So they're all drawing birds and they're, they're trying to figure out which one matches the dealer. So <laughs> it's pretty interesting because you can't be too specific with your drawing. So that was fun. All right, so we are playing Strike. <laughs> Unsurprising to anyone who knows me, of course I brought Strike. Everybody's like, no, oh, look at us posing. We're so cute. Aw, oh, look at us. <laughs> All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and play a while. Here, let's see if I can video my turn. Uh, yeah. Wait, are there no matches? Oh, How are there no, no matches? matches? Hold on, we can throw in another one. Here we go. What do we got? Uh, are there six, 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 six. All right, I'll take those out. That guy is dead. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. oh. It's the final uh, countdown. You might, you've decided, you've already oh. started. <laughs> you start plugging just as you're about to. Isn't that interesting? How that works? See? I know, I know how this works. Strike! Woo! <laughs> it is still day one of Dice Tower Con. We are playing the Jabber and Tooth and Tooth. The Tavern and the Tooth and Tooth. That, that, that is what we're playing. The Taverns uh, of the Deep Valley. That new uh, Wolfgang Warsh game, I have to say. Everything he publishes, I love. 
all of it. I haven't played a single one of his games that I haven't loved, so uh, I'm very excited. I don't know how well I'm doing, but uh, I'm having fun. I'm sure Dave's killed. I mean, come on, look, there's a dog. There's a dog in this game, so I it literally, as soon as I saw the dog, I was like, I'm in. I'm in. And you can upgrade it so that the dog goes away, and I don't want to do that, which Dave laughed at. Because yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't want to get rid of the dog. the first thing I did. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally were like, bye, doggo. I can't. I can't do it. Uh, but yeah, this game's super fun. Uh, is it? So it's out in Europe or no? It's only in Germany. In Germany. Uh, and in the Netherlands, by the way. Okay. Um, uh, North Star. North Star's bringing it to the States. Q4 is the planet. Okay, so later this year, coming to America, I'm going to have to buy it, clearly. It's super <laughs> awesome. So, uh, yeah. Alright, we'll check in again later. Oh, that's right. What do you have anything else? I've got one Amazon. I don't believe anything you've ever said. Boom. <laughs> yes. Dead. Okay, okay. This is going to be it. Oh. It doesn't look like yes. you know this, doesn't it? I got one. 50% okay. chance. 50% chance. Wait. Oh. I'm just video taking. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the Oh, this chaos nonsense is going out. Oh, you're... <laughs> David! Oh, so evil! David's so evil! Shut up! It's probably such a hell I have no cards. No, I always tell the truth, obviously. So, like, where are you going to go with that? I, I have no cards. I don't know. Not, not to guess. Who has the other one? I have two. I'll go down. Okay. I have zero. I have zero. Okay, what we know. Both my, all my cards are... Both my cards are back. So, I'm telling the truth. So, like... I'm telling the truth as well. So, there's one missing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Mike has it. Why are we listening to Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing that? Uh, it's a good I'm a, I cannot. Dave, I this is all we can do. cannot evil. always be a bad guy. I mean, technically, yes, based on statistics, you can. Cannot, you can always be a bad guy. That's, that's, so that's, yeah, that's, 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 how, that's, that's how coin flips work. They can, they can all be heads. If you flip a coin, it can. Yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's, it's not a great yeah. chance, but it can't happen. I am now in the room for the opening night game show. There's people here. Uh, there's still like 15 minutes to go, but I'm going to be operating this camera. I haven't done that before, but basically I have to stand and make sure it's on and that no one runs into it. So I think I can do that. <laughs> It'll be fun. We are now ready for the auction. Um, so there are a bunch of lots of games there that people are going to have a regular auction for. They're looking at them as they're coming in, but that's not going to start for another 20 minutes. And then there's also a silent auction over here where there's games and you, you write down your name and your bid. Uh, I bid on a game, but I already got outbid. <laughs> so I probably won't win anything. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's a re-theme. We have one, one of the uh, expansions for Abyss, the Battle of Greyport. We never played that one. Dell, I don't like it. Sam does. Mercado, yeah, it's okay. And Lord of the Rings, Quest of Mount Doom, I'm pretty sure that's rock. It's a Lord of the Rings game. <laughs> All right, that's not one. Let's, Let's do it. start the bidding at $5 for the lot. I see $5 right here. Does anyone want to go with 10 $5 here, $10 right here. Do I see anyone? Alright, it is 11pm on day one of Dice Tower Con, and there is still a lot of people playing games in the main gaming hall. Sorry for the top of my head there. So there's definitely more empty tables than there were earlier. But look, we got, we got some big epic games still going on this evening. We got lots of people playing lots of stuff. We got Pipeline over here. I've heard good things about that. What do we think so far? Just started. Just, just started. started. So they, they have no opinions yet. Nothing. I don't know if it's good or not. Awesome. Do you like it? Very cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I have to say, I'm tired and I'm going to be going to bed shortly. But uh, day one uh, has been wonderful. Everybody's super excited, as always. I mean, this convention is just the best. So, I, uh, I love it. We got Dice Settlers, Zuloretto, Bruges happening over here. Gotta love a game with colorful dice. Meeple Circus? Ooh, I still, I still haven't played Meeple Circus. That should be on my list, because it's been out forever. And I still haven't played it. Oh, we got the giant river dragons game getting set up. Detective City of Angels. Heaven and Ale. So, a hot 
that game section is still happening. Lots of games happening over here. Oh man, the wingspan table is empty right now. So, I don't, is that weird? I'm so tired and yet I somehow want to play wingspan. It's weird. Uh, yeah. It's so pretty. I just can't get over how pretty it is, right? Like, it's just beautiful. Yes. So pretty. I haven't played that one yet. At some point, I definitely need to try that. <sighs> All right, well, that's going to do it for me for day one, everyone. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow for day two. I imagine there is a lot more fun to be had. All right, it is day two of Dice Tower Con, and over here we have Tom and Bonacore battling it out in an epic game. <laughs> Who set this up? Come back in 20 minutes. <laughs> you might get it out that way. You might. Come on. Push it back. Oh boy. That's, oh boy. That's a death. This is ridiculous. excited about it because more people to game with is always the best so uh, we're gonna wander around and see what people are playing okay I've now wandered to the back of the convention hall and there are more empty tables back here so not completely full yet tomorrow and Saturday I imagine that will the, these ones will start filling up too but we do actually have empty tables back here plenty of space for people to sit down and play whatever games they want. Today is Thursday, and I played a couple of hot games this morning. Um, I played Point Salad, which is a quick card game where you're uh, like drafting cards kind of to get different vegetables and then different scoring cards to score your different vegetables when you're making your salad. It was pretty quick and fun. And then I played the Taverns of Tiefenthal, Tiefenthal which is a game where you're uh, you're building a bar, but it's a, a combination of deck building and like dice drafting and then you get cards to improve your bar and get more patrons and they do better things and so like at the end of the game you're, you have so many cards out and it's really it's pretty fun. <laughs> you're getting a lot of stuff. So, but yeah, both of those games are pretty fun. All right, we're gonna sneak in to the painting session that Vernon and Sam are running right now. We're gonna see what people are working on over here. I just want to let you know, it is 12.30, we have another session starting at 1, so about 15 minutes, if you can uh, get to a stopping point in about 15, 10, 15 minutes, that'll give us enough time to set up for the next, next But, here's the thing, you are taking everything that's in front of you, except for the clippers, you're taking everything with you home. Uh, don't, of course, leave the, the bowls of water. You might not want to. But you take everything else home. How's it going so far, guys? Good. Look at that. That's an impressive work, I must say. Thank you. I, I can't paint anything at all. So I'm always very impressed by people who can paint minis because it is not easy work. Uh, all right, so we just played QE. QE. new bidding game that is designed by Gavin Bierenbaum and just came out to Kickstarter backers, including me. Uh, and it's a bidding game where you can bid any amount of money that you want at How all. How much money did you bid, Amy? <laughs> 65 
$65,000. She bid a total of $65,000. And that was Adam, only because she was forced to. Adam, how much money did you bid? 173000 baby. So what happened as a result of you bidding? I got the most victory points. And also lost, lost the game. <laughs> Spent the most money. I spent lots of money because I knew he was going to lose the game. <laughs> but I, I still thought you guys were crazy. I spent less money and also got a lot of victory points, so I won. Yeah, because he was making it. I love bidding games a lot, and this one is super fun. I'm going to be breaking this one out a few times probably during the convention. And this is the first game Ambie and I played together this week, so... And next time Ambie will bid on some things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't think so. I tend not to bid on things. I suck at bidding. You're like, <laughs> literally, I'm too frugal to play this game. <laughs> Not your money. I, I'm, I'm you can bid any amount, literally anything. Conscience. Uh, I would say this one real fun. If you like things like High Society or other bidding games, this one is definitely like, one to check out. I liked it a lot. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, it is still day two of Dice Tower Con, and look who I, I just found. Hey, Eric Lang. How's it going? Pretty good. What are you showing off at the con this year? My new green shirt. I oh, I mean, up look at, at look at that green shirt. I picked up downtown. It's all like. Are you are you kickstarting this? Does it come with extra miniatures or anything? Uh, no, no, it's, it's no, it's not a miniature. It's large. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I picked this up. I picked this up to attract special Florida green bees. Oh, so it's very fancy. Yeah, absolutely. very fancy. So no, no, really though. Like, what what do you got here? At the, what's going on at the con? Are you are you going to be on a panel? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to be on a panel where you guys can ask me anything you want about uh, Simon, and I will answer um, some of it. Fifty percent of it will be lies. Fifty percent will be the truth. Correction. Come on. Come oh, on. I keep, I, keep for, I keep forgetting that too. I, hey, I'm here, I'm, here for, I'm here for your marketing people. I'm, a, I, I'm an employee in ice cream. And by the time this video comes out, the panel will have already happened, but are they recording the panel so people can see it? Do you yes. Know? Okay, awesome. Yes. So the you'll be able to go just... watch the panel. I don't know if it'll be up by the time my vlog goes up, but at some point, for sure. That's right. And I'm also showing off, uh, I'm showing off three of our new games that are coming out. Uh, Trudvang Legends, which is our next Kickstarter. I've been uh, doing some live demonstrations of that. Uh, we have Death May Die, which I have a uh, full uh, semi-production sample of, but it's fully playable with final graphics and cool minis. I'm going to play that. Um, and uh, Foodies, which is our next uh, game in the Gizmos family game line. Uh, we got one copy, one copy, and anybody's gonna, uh, I'm going to be playing it in the hot games room. That sounds pretty exciting. I, I want to check that one out for sure. You should. Awesome. So when Truth Bang is your next one on Kickstarter, when is that coming to Kickstarter? I cannot say. Ah, secret information. All news right. News channel. So news to come in the near future, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, for those of you who have backed Simon stuff in the, um, come on stuff in the past, <laughs> Uh, you guys, uh, you've seen our, you know what kind of patterns we have. We have previews already out, articles already out. You know it's coming soon. I just can't tell you because right. we don't publish a day until we're 100% sure. And you know what? That's a smart way to handle things. So uh, thank you so much for talking with because me, Eric. smart people. You right? are smart. You, This no. guy, smart guy right here. Smarter. Not at all. So I played a few games this afternoon, and now we are going to Morimoto Asia for dinner, which is a restaurant in Disney Springs that I've heard is pretty good. So, we'll see how the food is. Yay! <laughs> okay, we ordered the Peking duck. Looks pretty good and some vegetables. So, ma you make Peking duck uh, taco things out of it. This and there's the sauce and stuff. Looks good! Alright, it is still day two of Dice Tower Con and we are currently playing Kiwi, which I vlogged earlier, but I'm playing it again now with new people. Hi! Uh, we're bidding a lot of money. I just started the bidding for this round specifically at six hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. We'll see if I get outbid. I hope I do. Kind of. I don't know. I want to win things, but I also don't want to spend too much money because whoever spends the most is eliminated. So, uh, how are you all feeling so far about the game? Good. I, so I know you're like peeking out from over here. I'm like, yeah, hey, you're over there. Uh, yeah. Uh, they were willing to let me teach it to them, and we're having a lot of fun over here near the hot games area. This is not, I, I would say this counts as a hot game since it literally just shipped to Kickstarter boxes. Uh, and I didn't know many of the other hot games that I could teach, so this is what we're playing, and hopefully uh, it goes well for me, but I doubt it will, so we'll see. All right, we are playing Illusion, which I don't have the box for because it was in my quiver, but I have the rule book. Illusion. Can you trust your eyes? No, we no, are horrible at you this You cannot game. trust no. your eyes. You cannot trust them at all, can you? No, 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 no trust. We're trying to figure out what percentage of green is on each of these cards. Oh really? my. The hearts seem really? to be throwing us for a loop yes. every single time. I, I, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Oh, we're saying she doesn't believe it. All right, three. we have three. We're good. Eight. 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 
I'm good. 16. 16. Here's, the, here's the question. Question mark, question mark, question 14. mark. 14. 14. 20. 20. So it was and correct. And was this right? Okay. Yeah. okay so it was this, correct before that, that point. One. That one was tough. That was so tough. So you played right. the arrow card. Woo! Yeller. We're looking for yellow. Yeller. 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 Right? Yeah. yeah. Two. He's got two. I think it's on a three. The three ends the game, right? Uh, it's either first of three or all oh, twelve cards. We were just gonna play to all twelve. Yeah. It goes fast enough that why not? Basically. This, this is me. Yeah. This yeah. is you. It yellow. is all you. Well, I don't believe that. Wait. Oh. Oh. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally still on green. I know. Sometimes I do that too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like yellow, I yellow. gotta keep looking at yeah, the arrow and then. Like, okay. All right. Well, what we'll color? Just, we'll do that. All right. So now I have to yeah, decide yeah, no, where to place good. this one. Let's see here. It's so easy. You'd it's think. So easy, Crystal. You'd think. It's simple. That 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 hand over here. This one has got a lot yeah, of yellow, it but does. it's like kind. So this one's definitely at the end. I know that. I think. Yeah, the hand. We're gonna hand do that. Hands. hands and hands. We're gonna put it there. Ooh. All right, so the Dice Tower Awards just ended, and everybody's clearing out of the room. We were going to vlog before the awards, and yeah. uh, we forgot. So <laughs> we're vlogging after the awards, and everybody, yeah, yeah we got Robert Geislinger here, <laughs> the, the dapperest member of the Dice Tower. And the undapperest. <laughs> and the undapperest. Right, right. This is my actual opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are both dapper, don't worry. Every, we're trying. So dapper. All the dapper. Uh, yeah, so the Dice Tower Awards just happened. Uh, so you all already know what won, um, so we can talk it about awesome. it. It was. It was so good. Uh, I was very happy that Root won Game of the Year. Yeah. Because uh, we, we both really liked Root when we played it at Dice Tower West back in March. Uh, and I really, I did not know how I was going to like that game. And I was happy that I enjoyed yeah, it quite a bit. Like so pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's not that we expected it to be bad. We just didn't know how we were going to like yeah. it. And I do, I want to play it again and be a different, uh, one of the other types of animals. Yeah, because I want to and get some more perspective on it, but we uh, we enjoyed it quite a bit, and yeah, so the room's clearing out. Uh, it is the end, close to the end of day two yes. of Dice Tower Con, <laughs> uh, and yeah, lots more gaming to happen. So exciting! We'll uh, we'll see y'all later. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.